So if you're planning on buying an antenna from Amazon, you might want to hold off until you watch this video. I have just recently done a swap between my antenna gear to new gear from Rack Wireless and Rockland. The results are noticeable, so pay attention to what we got coming up. This was the antenna that uh, we originally used. It's about two feet long. It's from Amazon and the brand is like Reagan. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. We also had this five foot long LMR 400 cable, also the same brand claiming to be LMR 400. Now, if you don't know what LMR 400 is, LMR is just a trademark. There's nothing special about it, but it has set the bar for cable quality. And that's why a lot of the times you'll see cables referring to something as LMR 400 equivalent. Now, with that being said, we did use the same DBI. So 5.8 DBI with LMR 400, except this time I used three feet of LMR 400 versus Five feet. Now this is a clip here of the new antenna that I installed. It is about twice the length in height now compared to this little thing right here. Honestly, this is like the size of Hagrid's wand, so I'm not too impressed with the size of this thing. Now just to give you some insight on this installation in particular, it is in a tree. It's got pretty good line of sight, and this is the before picture of what it looked like. This is not entirely accurate, but I can tell you that we had about 11 witnesses just yesterday when I did this install. This screenshot is actually a month before that, but it just gives you a general idea of what we were working with with this old install. Now it occurred to me that with a 5.8 dBi setup and the height that we have on top of a tree, we should be getting more witnesses than that. So we went ahead and did an upgrade. Now just real soon, I'm gonna release a video about how much of a difference raising your antenna 10 to 15 feet will actually make. So if it's already out, I'll put it right here, but something to look forward to if you're interested in these kind of results. Now, usually when you test something out, you just wanna change one thing. You don't wanna change multiple variables. Unfortunately, in this case, I changed the cable and the antenna because I wanna bring this up and just be completely transparent with you guys to show you what it actually did. Now this is the 5.8 dB antenna that we switched out for. That's $40 right now off of Rack Wireless. And then I just wanna point something out from this distributor or this person who sells these antennas. This guy left a comment on here saying, uh, first of all, there have been two one-star reviews that have been deleted from this listing. If that isn't sketchy to you, then I don't know what is. I'll keep this short and simple. I bought the 5.8 dBi antenna. Antenna is great and my rewards have significantly grown. He goes on to state the problem is this is not LMR 400 cable. Another individual who had their comment deleted determined that this cable has around 1.25 dBi of cable loss. Not good to say the least. Now this is the 8 dBi antenna but he's talking about the same person, the same provider and this is the same cable that we use 5 foot long for optimal signal transmission. Now, if you do the math here, five feet of cable should not have anywhere near that loss. A three foot cable has 0.2 dBi loss. If you imagine double that, that's still not even close to what this cable has been losing. So that could be a reason as to why our rewards increase. But again, take it with a grain of salt because not everything on the internet is true. Now my cables are from Rockland and I do recommend them. They have worked out great so far. And like we like we talked about before, RFC 400, no difference in LMR, LMR is just a name. And see, if we talk about the loss here, uh, uh, 915 megahertz application with three feet is 0.17 dBi loss. Now for three feet of cable, 0.17 dBi loss is a huge gap compared to what this person was talking about on this cable loss right here. Nevertheless, so that's the current setup that I have right now. So the links will be down below for everything that I use. Thank you so much for using those links. Before I go any further, I have nothing against this company. I don't know anything about them. I'm not trying to tell you that 100% it's the antenna that sucks or it's the cable that sucks. I'm just got, I'm just documenting like what my results were after we swapped out these two things. Now, first off, this happened when I was trying to replace uh, for the new antenna because I actually considered keeping this cable. But once this happened, I was like, well, I just got to use my own cables now from Rockland. This is probably because I was tugging on it and I was trying to take off the uh, old weatherproofing, but I don't think it should have happened that simple. So yeah, I kind of just, I was, I was kind of just like, whoa, that shouldn't happen that quickly. You know, I've, I play around with cables, but whatever. It's not like it's actually uh, put on there super hard. And so you can see uh, that what the material is under the cables. This is what it's supposed to be like. Now, the thing is, guys, uh, there's a clear difference between the Rockland cable and uh, this cable right here. You know how when something just feels like a good quality, it's heavier. That's kind of my feeling here with the uh, wrong way. Uh, that's kind of my feeling here with this cable. This is the Rockland cable, three feet. This is that Reagan cable, five feet, but the three foot cable feels heavier, right? I mean, it is heavier actually. I, I, I compared it and it is definitely heavier uh, than the five foot one. Now, secondly, this is the five foot cable. Now, if I bend this like this, much more flexible, right? Much easier to work with, 
right? Which I'm not really sure how I feel about that. You know, technically, the higher you go up in the in the cable rating, the more difficult it is to actually move because literally it's thicker, right? So it's harder to actually operate. So I just easily flatten this cable out um, and doesn't really take that much force, right? So you see, see how it just kind of retains its shape, which I don't know how I feel about that. Now the Rockland cable, granted it's shorter, but check this out, with the same amount of force that I apply, if I bend this like this, it like almost goes back to what the actual, uh, what, what it actually was. The other cable, I bent it like this and it just like kind of stayed straight. So if I show you this, uh, this cable here is the Rockland cable and it is actually thicker uh, than the Reagan cable, right? It's not too much thicker, but it actually is thicker. Now let's take a look at the results after 24 hours of installing this. Okay, so again, this is the before. And then now, boom, check this out. This is the after. This is only 24 hours in and I have still uh, got to raise this thing up even higher. So now we went from 11 to 12 witnesses to 22 witnesses. Now I can guarantee you this number is gonna keep going up because we are barely just 24 hours in. Now if you look at the 30 day mark, on average we gain 0 0.09, 0 0.16, 0 0.14, 0 0.12, 0 0.07, 0 0.13, 0 0.09 so clearly we were down here we had some spikes here in the good days like on a, on a good day we have 0.25 but we have not seen a 0.3 day in a long long time and so just after making that swap we have doubled our rewards 166 percent gain as compared to yesterday's now i don't know about you but that's good that's a lot better than what we were before so i'm loving this i'm loving these results but i guarantee you once we get this antenna higher we're going to be hitting a lot more of these hot spots so this shows the reward scales of this area um um, so we do have some low earning areas over here. They're not the worst, but they're not the best, but still 0.34 uh, for this antenna here with only 22 witnesses is not a bad gig. Now, when we raise this antenna about 10 to 15 feet higher, I hope we can get this to 0.5 or 0.7 earnings in a day. Now, at the time of this recording, we are in late February. So depending on when you see this video, uh, maybe the rewards are a lot different. But nevertheless, overall, this swap has made a pretty drastic change so if you're looking for longevity or if you're looking to make more uh h and then i would recommend getting something from either rack wireless or rockland at the end of the day you know what was it that made us get these lower earnings was it the antenna or the end cable i'm not 100 percent sure on that because honestly i just don't, don't i don't have time to be swapping these cables uh in and out like that i just wanted it to be transparent with my process of what I did. Maybe this can actually uh, influence you into providing better quality and better hardware for your miners. Anyways, I hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gabriel. I'll see you guys in the next video.